Friends and family, let's bow our heads for a word of prayer. Father, we ask you to continue to take time out of your busy schedule in managing all of the world's affairs, to stop by here and speak to the family of Cecil Noble. Lord, I ask you to wrap your arms around them, let them know in their hour of grief, you have all the answers we need not but just trust you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Uh, family, I'm so sorry for your loss. I appreciate you trusting me with Mr. Noble. I'm going to be uh, officiating today. My name is Eric Lusang. Um, the, uh, the E and the W E is Eric. I don't go by W E, it's just Eric. Um, at any rate, I'm going to read the Old Testament scripture, which is going to be taken from Proverbs chapter 3. In verses 1 through 10, I'll be reading in the New World Translation. My son, do not forget my teaching, and may your heart observe my commandments, because they will add many days and years of life of peace to you. Do not let loyal love and faithfulness leave you. Tie them around your neck. Write them on the tablet of your heart. Then you will find favor and good sight in the eyes of God and man. Trust in Jehovah with all your heart, and do not rely on your own understanding. In all your ways, take notice of him, and he will make your path straight. Do not become wise in your own eyes. Fear Jehovah and turn away from bad. It will be a healing to your body and refreshment for your bones. Honor Jehovah with your valuable things, with the first fruits of all your produce. Then your storehouses will be completely filled, and your vats will overflow with new wine. Our New Testament scripture is going to be 2 Corinthians 7 10, and that's going to be the topic uh, of my words of comfort to you today. 2 Corinthians chapter 7 and verse 10 it says for sadness in a godly way produces repentance leading to salvation leaving no regret but the sadness of the world produces death we're going to meditate on those words but at this time i'm going to ask our sister candace if you'll come at this time and offer your ministry of your voice. Blessed assurance Jesus is Watching and 
not sure how well you slept the night before uh, and thinking about what's going on today. So by this hour, your sugar's dropping and it's probably time to re-energize. But, but son, grandson, nephew, let me give you some words of comfort. Second Corinthians chapter seven and verse 10. I'm going to read it in a different version versus the one that I read this morning. It says, For godly sorrow worketh repentance to salvation, not to be repented of, but the sorrow of the world worketh death. So when I see death as I approach other things in life, I have to approach it from the positive side of it. You may ask me, well, how can death, anything in death be positive? I pray that the cup is always half full versus half empty. The one thing about death that it least does for me, it reminds me that our time here in this world is temporary. We're here, but for yet a short season. The one good thing about death is it worketh repentance. Let me explain to you what I mean by that. Mr. Noble didn't do anything wrong to deserve death. Some people do, some people don't, but the wrong that I'm speaking of right now is the original sin that happened in Eden. We are suffering the consequences of the original sin. The wages of sin is death. When I had a conversation with my daughter, I'm gonna always bail you out. I'm going to do whatever I can to right the wrong that you may have committed, but there's nothing I can do about the consequences. These, this death here that we're experiencing today is but the consequences of sin. Second Corinthians tells me that this grief that we're experiencing, we still have to repent from it. We have to turn from our ways so that we might have the everlasting life with our Lord and Savior in heaven. When I lost my brother, the only comfort that I could offer my father was we would see him again. Because of Jesus Christ, we have that opportunity to be reunited with Mr. Noble. And it is that opportunity that I want to remind us today that comforts us. Our hearts are heavy right now. We're experiencing this loss. You may never heal from this loss, but with time, it does get better. What we're trying to do right now is work out the repentance so that we can have salvation. And it is the godly salvation that we're searching for right now not the sorrow of the world, because that's the sorrow that worketh out to death. We're looking for everlasting salvation. Again, we're passing through. These are all cliches that you hear when you come to funerals. But my message to you today, my counsel to you all today, as you speak to one another in remembrance of Mr. Noble, and that is we will be reunited with him because of the death of Jesus Christ and the resurrection of Jesus Christ. This is how we work out our grief. I'm going to close with this. This is something that led me to post on Facebook a couple days ago. Uh, something that they teach us when we get our field director license. Never thought that I'd really have to use it as much as they tested us on it. The five stages of grief. This is from Kubler Ross. They wrote a book on it. It goes into detail. These five stages actually help you process this grief that we're experiencing, this grief, uh, this sorrow that we're experiencing. And they don't necessarily go in this order. There's denial, there's anger, depression, bargaining, and acceptance. You have these five stages. Then somebody commented on my post and said, well, hey, I'm going to add a sixth one called hope. Questions were asked, well, do you experience the grief necessarily in this order of denial, anger, depression, bargaining, acceptance? And I replied, no. Some people will jump and go from denial to depression 
back to anger, back to bargaining. Bargaining, of course, is when you have these conversations with God. God, if I'll make a deal with you if you could just give me one more day with me. Some of these stages of grief you're going to recognize because you're going to say, hey, that was me just yesterday. I had a, a friend of mine comment on the post and said I was upset with God for taking my friend away. And I'm like, well, we're married, and that's a part of the stages. That's a healthy stage. These are all stages that we are going to go through when we're experiencing this. But what I appreciate about the comment that my friend left about let's add the six one being meaning hope, that's what this scripture in 2 Corinthians 7, verse 10 tells me. By the way, our relationship with God, our hope and our faith that Jesus Christ died and rose again, that's where we have hope that we will begin to heal from this. If you want to see me after we close, I'll be glad to share these six stages of grief that we all must go through in order to heal. And we add that sixth one, and I pray that in some way, that some word might be said today that might be able to strengthen your faith, that you all might be able to heal from this loss. Let's bow our head before we bring our sister back up for a closing thought and song. Jesus, I thank you, Lord, for giving us this chance to affirm our faith in you. I thank you for taking the time out to let us know how important we are in light of all the craziness that's going on in the world today. I thank you, Lord, for stopping by here, letting the entire noble family know that they are important, that you care about each and every one of them individually for the loss of our dear Cecil Noble. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Sis. If you want to know where I'm going, where I'm going to, if anybody asks you where I'm going,
For inasmuch as it pleases the Almighty God to take unto himself, we hereby return Mr. Noble to the Lord, in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Ghost. Let us all say it. Family, this concludes our services here. I invite you to hang out and fellowship with each other. Again, I'm so sorry for the cause. I'm so sorry. I appreciate you trusting me, Mr. Noble. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.